Hey guys, I think I'm a little tilted, but I think you guys can see me. So I got a request from Stones fan A T I K Diana um, about Mac paints and how to apply them. So I figured I would go bare on both eyes and do two different semi not looks, just two different ways to um, apply it, and then maybe it would help her. Diane, just make sure not to pull the eye. First of all, I'm using Luminate Eye Base on one eye. Okay. Just on the lid. Well, actually, anywhere you want to... I'm going to go up to the crease. Like I said, it's not a real look. It's just a little mini look. And this nail... Sorry, not the finger, but this nail broke. I was putting the baby in the car. A little upset. Now, this Luminate, a little bit goes a long way, so... I had to just take off some because that was okay. I use a synthetic bristle concealer brush to put on my paints. Also, I took my paints out of the tubes because it always squeezes out too much and I put it into these little containers. If you go to Michaels or AC Moore and go into the paint brush department, um, like the artist paint brush department, you should see these brushes are long cornells. On my website, I'll link it, there is a um, picture of the packaging so you can get a better idea. Okay. I load up my brush and I wipe it because sometimes it's too much, still too much. This is how much I use. Okay, this is bamboo. And I'm just going to apply it to my eye. And Diane, you're right, it does look splotchy and you really have to play with it. It's just one of those products. Um, if you use your fingers, it's fine. Um, but it's an emollient based product, so it's going to um, need a little bit of play with. And depending on how the skin is on your eye area, um, that also comes into play when you're using it. Also, if you're just using it for a color, like if this were your eye and you're just going to go ahead and line now, um, you might have to, not dust on, but using like a really fluffy brush. I don't know the MAC number to it, but the, um, I'll look it up for you and I'll leave it on the sidebar. Uh, the Sonia Kashuk um, brush. It's a real fluffy brush. You might have to actually put on a color that is very, very similar to the paint that you're using to kind of set it. And I just play with it, you know, pat it in, you know, fix my, if you have to fix the shape. And I always like to blend out my eyeshadows. I don't like to see a line there. That's the look that I go for. And then I'm just going to put on top of it. Like I said, I'm just playing, so just going to use a big brush. I bought these brushes, um, oh my god, this brush I should say, I don't know, like a month ago from Kmart. And I'm going into Lily White, just so you can see, just so I have something on the eye. So, and it's a pigment, obviously, so, you know. You, I just want to show the sticking power of, of the MAC paints. Oh, you know what I was going to bring in? I forgot. Because I'm in my bathroom. See, and I still have fallout. That's just because I have way too much on a brush. I'm not going to complete an eye. Um, I might. I don't even have mascara here. Of course I did. But I just really wanted to show, you know, what the paints can do for you. And also depending on the brush, too that you're using. Um, I personally would use a synth uh, not necessarily synthetic, but I would use a concealer brush like that or um, a small foundation brush would be good. Just because of how the bristles lay, that's really helpful when you're applying the paints. So that's just the look. It's not a look. It's just showing you how to do that with that. And I had some fallout, some serious fallout. Oh my goodness. 
That's not the paint's fault. <laughs> just to let you guys know. Okay, let me just wash the brush now. Because I'm using a totally different paint color. And this one is called Deep Shadow. And I did the same exact thing. Oh, I got lily white all over myself. I did the same exact thing. I put it into this little jar. And these are in the artist paint oh sorry I was gonna use Urban Decay Primer Potion just to show that some you know the Luminae Eye Base definitely does help to make it smooth and not but not everyone can buy it because I believe Luminae is only um only sold at QV uh QVS um CVS so you might not um, I guess online at Luminae whatever but I'm not sure if you can buy it you know, in store, outside of, um, CVS. Okay, so Deep Shadow is like a, um, it's like a brownie mauve with gold shimmer. I'm just taking my time. Sorry, I'm all in your face. And you guys know, I, okay, so this, see, this to me is looking like it's applying a little bit better but that's just because it, pro it matches my skin tone a little bit better so I really can't see Ooh, yeah I really can't see the difference let me get close yeah okay and I'm just blending that up I like the paints. They're a nice base. Um, I used to use them a lot and then I discovered the um, shade sticks. And then the paint pots are out now. Now, oh, I was saying about these containers. These are air cut tight containers to hold mixed like acrylic paints. So it's not going to dry out your paints, your MAC paints. So that's good if you can get those. And I think AC Moore or Michaels makes their own brand of those. I haven't tried those. I've only tried it on Cornell, Cornell. So, you know, if you can't find those, you can always ask them if they make those kind of airtight containers. My friend Tiffany and my friend Siobhan. Oh, I was going to put over something fun. Um, but I wanted to use a small brush because I don't want it all over the place. Um, oh, sorry. And you know what? I'm going to wet the brush because if I don't wet the brush, I think it's going to be even, even though I have the paints on, I don't have, you know, a large amount of it. This is going to get all over the place. My God, you hear my voice? I need a nap, people. It's like seven, seven at night and I'm like, I need a nap, but I do. I was out all day, and I normally take a nap with the boys. Alright, I'm clearly not going to apply this across my whole eye. Just because it's going to get all over the place. But it's glitter. I did wet the brush, which helped. But I just want to show you, it's not splotchy. Okay. Mine, if you have, um, crepiness in your eyelid space, don't, don't pull your eye and then apply the paint because if okay if you pull your eye and then apply paint it gets in all the cracks of your you know like when you go like this it's smooth when you go like this it's not so it's going to look like you have extra product on your eye so maybe that might be an issue um so i would say just lightly apply it over you know some kind of base this is killing me because i'm getting glitter all over my face Trevor's going to be have so much glitter on him today. Watch. Even though I'm going to wash my face now and my brushes. Anyway. <sighs> I have to wash it off. That glitter right here. It's driving me nuts. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, be careful if you're actually putting on the paints with, with say, you are using a concealer brush or you're using your fingers. Don't pull this too much because if you pull it like this and then apply it, you're definitely going to have too much product into all the creases and when it, the skin bounces back and now you're from here 
to here, you're going to have extra product. So on the hills and in the valleys of the crepiness of the eye, you're going to have ex you're going to have a lot of product, and that's going to cause crepiness and splotchiness. So just be careful of that. So I guess that's it. If you have any more questions, Diane, please feel free to ask me. If anyone else has questions about the MAC paints, please feel free. Bye. I hope this helped.